So we're now moving into the group four softs, and our first one is the most widely grown uh, variety in this area, skyscraper. Most aptly named anyway, as you can see in the untreated. Look where it is, in our treated. So it responds to PGRs. That's the first thing, because a lot of people were put off it originally by the height of it, but it does respond to PGRs, we can see that. As a variety, you've got to look after it. I mean, it, in the spring, in this area, in October, what happened, because it is our widely grown variety, it had a bit of yellow rust on it earlier doors, so we had to take that out. And then septoria, it's not a high resistance for septoria, so you've got to be on the, on the timings with it, with the septoria as well, and the rust all the way through. But, where it's grown, people keep coming back for it. It's early to mature, and I think that's one of the, the key things that people like about it. No, it's, I mean, it has been the standout variety. I mean, what's the seed figures, Laura? It's 38% of the seed oh, yeah. market in Scotland last year, 44% yep. of the acreage this year. Massively grown variety because it was the default variety. It was up there on, you know, it was basically mm. the highest yielding variety. I mean, and to be able to combine, yeah, the level of yield that it's achieving with that yeah. earliness is, yeah. is quite impressive. And the versatility. You yeah. don't want to drill this one too early. And as David said, it is actually starting to deteriorate now. Mm. When it first came out, it was middle of the road, actually, mm. on disease. And now it's really not great on Septoria. And it's not particularly a, a, a clean variety anymore. Uh, it does need managed on its mm. on its straw strength. But as David said, you know, that uh, it does respond well to PGRs. Um, it's still going to be a big, oh, yeah. big variety this year again. But I, I'm guessing we're maybe at peak skyscraper. If, uh, I would. Um, I mean, it's, it's interesting when you talk to farmers about it and yeah, having those discussions about what we put in the ground this year. There are so many of them saying, I know, I know the issues with Septoria in Skyscraper, but I know it, I love it, and I know how to manage it. Yeah. I and, think that's the key to it, Laura. Yeah. We, we, everybody knows what they're doing yeah. with it now. Yeah. And you know you can't cut back on it. I mean, mm. we had the conversations earlier yeah. in the year. I was very concerned about how scruffy it looked coming yeah. out of the spring. Yeah. But by gum, once you got the fungicides into it and it started to get a hold of them, I don't have them concerns now. No. It's just kept, you know, it a lot, of the, look well. a lot of the um, issues that people would potentially have, disease, height, straw strength, and everything, when we'll come on to a few of the newer varieties, um, potentially that, you know, if you can grow this, you can grow those too. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, at one time there was an argument for saying, well, I'll grow skyscraper because there's nothing higher yielding. I think now we've got a few new uh, uh, competitive varieties coming in which are equally, if not higher yielding. Yeah. Uh, also tall, a lot of the varieties that have been developed in recent years do seem to be all the, uh, a lot taller than they used to be. But again, David, if you can manage skyscraper, and we can see the responses as we go, mm. um, you can manage these other varieties too. So, um, But we know what we're doing with this and it's consistent. And you know the newer varieties will be, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they'll indent into it. But it, probably there still will be a fairly big variety for us again this yeah, year. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, it's also had a good grain size to it as well, and it's been very marketable from a uh, distilling wheat point of view. Um, so, still be the number one in Scotland this year, I guess. I would think so. Yeah.